Who money that you make? Let us look at the decision of Nigerian government to National Electricity Regulatory Commission to increase tariff of electricity in Nigeria. We understand that the increase is from 66 naira per kilowatt per hour to about 300 kilowatt, about 300 naira kilowatt per hour. Now, is this a way of saying thank you for voting for us, or will this add to the hardship of Nigeria? People are asking that they should take the light. We don't need it again. Nigeria do not just don't need electricity again. You know, everybody should just march down to Abba. All the whole Nigerians should move down to other states, you know, and uh, that's where they have light now. Well, how can you be talking about about 170,000 naira per month to even enjoy electricity with the current uh, 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 policy of the federal government now? It's not going to be possible. So what they are trying to tell is that, you know, be ready for darkness because their kingdom is darkness. That's why they continually put my dear in darkness for over how many years now? They cannot even fix. South Africa alone is talking about close to 100,000 megawatts. South Africa. Nigeria has never exceeded 3,000 megawatts since this country came into existence. So what are they talking about? Who think they are talking about? This is purely it's corruption. This is corruption at the highest level. And the, what they are trying to tell all, the whole Nigeria is that everybody should be ready for what? Darkness. And if they are saying that, and of course, we have one state, you know, that illuminates, and that is Abia State. And everybody is likely to head to Abia State. You know, so that let us go, everybody, all the whole Nigeria should move. How can somebody, how much is their salary? How much are we making? How much is Nigeria making to be able to pay 170,000 naira value of what the government current uh, uh, policy on electricity is all about now? It, it, it's not, it's not, I don't think any, people are going to accept that. Already, the uh, uh, LSE and of course the uh, uh, two dog, I don't know what to say. Nigeria is in trouble anyway. Okay, now, you know that um, government have been talking about cost reflecting tariff. Is a way of saying, Nigerians are not paying actual, actually what they are consuming. The government is in a way subsidizing electricity. And government has been saying that there is need to, for customers, consumers to start paying cost reflecting tariff. Do you think government is moving towards that? Direction? I think they, uh, they, they, they are somersaulted. They don't know what they want at the end of the day. They don't know. Nigerians have never enjoyed electricity. Talkless of paying uh, 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 that much. Who is enjoying electricity in Nigeria? Where is the light? It's a shame. It, it, it means they have failed. It means that Tubu has failed completely. People are even trying to consider him maybe because of the little uh, uh, movement in the Naira. You know, they are trying to say maybe he's working. But I know that that is a game. People are suspecting him in that regard. You know, that how can a uh, 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 dollar be going down and the prices of things are going up? You know, Nigeria is a mess. It's a dead nation completely. You know, so they you make it. So it's obvious now that we are heading towards darkness. Because how many Nigerians that don't? How many Nigerians you get two hours of electricity in Nigeria? Now, okay, well, they want to be. They want to make it exclusively for the rich. Uh, so be it now. Now, lastly on this, we understand that increment is not affecting every Nigerian. It's not affecting every consumer. According to them, it affects band A. And that ban A has to do with Nigerians, consumers who are perhaps enjoying, enjoying power supply 24 hours. Is, is, is that not being fair? Is that not, is that, is that not stupidity? So light, light, one of the amenities of the Nigerians are supposed to have been enjoyed. Every Nigerian, even those inside the forest, supposed to have access to electricity. We are making it exclusively for those. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, it says, whether it is to the question. No, it does not matter in this I'm talking about this issue. Everybody has to enjoy electricity. What what is the meaning of that? That's what I'm trying to say. I'm talking about the increment of tariff that is not affecting everybody. That it only has to do with areas that are having... No, that is going to be put pressure on the economy again. That's going to put pressure on those who struggle to make a living. That is going to put pressure on the system again. Because by the time there's companies or whatever people you classified as whatever plan B or whatever plan A, I don't I don't want to know. By the time they start paying down more, they will they, they will fall 
the pressure was the the the, 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 the pressure was still uh, uh, fall on on, on on other people at the end of the day, and it will increase the uh, 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 already uh, worsened the economic situation. So I, I don't think that this thing is going to fly at all. There's no how they will use it. If they like, let this be for plan A and plan B or no, plan B. Let me ask We're not interested in that. No, because at the end of the day, the pressure will still come uh, up to... The, now, uh, let me ask again. I understand that, understand that Nigerians, in their, from their respective perspective, are rejecting the electricity tariff hike. NSC, CLO have said, no, we are not taking this. Do you think NSCC will have what it takes? They don't they have anything. They are, they are bribed. They have been bribed. What are they doing here? They this is a civil society organization. They, all the civil society organizations are dead. I, I mean, it's just as it's their PC that is controlling civil society in Nigeria. These are supposed to be independent civil society organizations that are supposed to protect the intent of the citizens and checkmate. Watchdog. That's what they are supposed to be. You know, they, they are not doing it. And you look as if they, 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 have, they have compromised or they love every dispute that they have been flying up and down. Why is it that we are not seeing uh, civil society organizations protesting against some of these uh, anomalities that take place, that this ra rascality, by the recklessness by this APC government? Why are we not seeing civil society organizations coming out massively? Let us see the, the, the protests everywhere in Nigeria against what this government has done to Nigeria. Nigerians are dying every day of hunger. Nothing is working. No, no light, no effort, nothing. And they're saying that they say at the end of the day, maybe they will map out certain percentage of money to them. Give to a uh, Nigerian Labour Congress, give to those who want to make noise, say they are uh, civil society organizations, and that's the end of it. Thank you very much, Mr. Asimidu I think this is a good place to let it go. Once more, this is uh, Nigerian News Center. If you are new to this program, you are new to this channel, kindly like, share, subscribe, and do not forget to hit the notification.